Skyrim isn't very friendly for Argonians, so we mostly just keep out of the way. Bless you, friend. You've renewed my hope. Before I came into Xenophar's calling, I confess I was a thief. But I learned a few things in my time that might help you survive. Let me show you. I enjoyed our talk. I wish the Nords, Argonians, and Dark Elves in Windhelm got along better. Me too. I love Argonians. Shavi knows the dock doesn't look nice. Fresh air is good for the gills. Until our next meeting, honored friend. Is that Lady Mara's amulet? I'm shocked a fine person like you isn't married already. You have a kind heart. I'd be honored to walk by your side until the trees themselves fade away, if you would have me. As short as life can be in this land, we will have each other. Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. Have you spoken to the Temple of Mara yet? I'm so excited. Hail, companion. Me too. Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk of the face sculptor down in the ragged flag. Face butcher is more like. I'll talk to anyone I want. Welcome to Riften, home of the thief skill. Or so they call me. Temple of Mara. How may I help you, my daughter? You wish to be married? It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. Your wedding will be held tomorrow, from dawn until dusk. Don't be late. You don't want to miss your own wedding. I don't want to be late. I'm actually quite excited. <laughs> May you return to her benevolence and safety. Hmm? Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. May you return to her benevolence and safety. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Is there a place to sit? Does not look like it. Oh, then I'll just stand here. Um, until dawn. Tend to your wedding, yay! Here's the blushing bride now. Let's Yay. begin the ceremony. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learned to love one another. It is from this love that we learn that a life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. Yes. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next, in prosperity and poverty, and in joy and hardship. Yeah. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? I do. Now and forever. Yeah. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? 
How could I say no? Hell yeah! I love Argonians! Under the authority of Mara, the divine Married. of love, <laughs> I declare this couple to be wed. I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. May they protect each of you in your new life together. We're united, yeah. but where should we live? My home is yours, of course. I have a place. Very nice place. It will be our little nest. I'll be waiting for you there. Alright. Oh, I can't wait to see you there. Because it is a beautiful home. Oh, I it's mean... my love come to visit. Ah, oh, you know me. <laughs> oh my god, this is so awesome. I haven't actually been wanting to marry an Argonian because you couldn't back then. I've seen a lot of new shit in this game that's been kind of altered and changed for the PS5. It's been such a wonderful time. <laughs> like this, um, I'll show you. Where's that? Ah, here. This was never here before. I don't remember this at all. But when I did the mission, or the quest, I should say, <laughs> it's a werewolf again. <laughs> I killed the owner because the owner wanted an, uh, a warrior's death. I think she, that's what she wanted. And then she gave me this house. And it is a beautiful house. Look at this. Who could not want to live in a place like this? This is like... <laughs> I don't know what to say. When I first got here, I was like, whoa! Whoa! Now this is a house. Look at all this stuff. And it's not even the mod. I have no I have no mods turned on. I just want to play the game for realsies. Now I did I put these books here. Um because I found uh I think in here. Yeah, there was a bunch of books in here. <laughs> oh, you in here? That's gonna be really hard to squeeze in there. We got little beds for children and let's see what do i got in here oh yeah my scrolls i think i keep all the letters in here yeah and jewelry nope somewhat jewelry <laughs> and um i think i keep all the food in here and and all the potions for this little hunk dooey thingy. And uh, I'll show you the basement. The basement is kind of cool. Look at that. This is absolutely awesome. Well, anyways, uh, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Graphic Striker here. Welcome to <laughs> Skyrim. It's been a long time. I'd say welcome to an old new game. Old. But new, more advanced, more upgraded. And I haven't played Skyrim in a long time. Last time I played it was probably on the PS4. I don't know when it was the last one I did. But I decided to play the uh, PS5 version uh, anniversary upgrade. I guess what it said. And yeah, and I've seen a lot of new stuff that's in the game that was never there before. Like, for an example, um... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that a ring? Yeah, I think so. Uh, see if I have it. Do I not have it? Oh. I say, do I still need this thing on anymore? I don't think so. So I'm gonna go with that. So I already got the ring, her wedding ring, and I'm actually quite excited and quite happy. Now this is also kind of new. Now this was kind of a mod, but not. It was more of from the Creation Club, but I guess they just added into the game. Uh, maybe, maybe. Um, let's see, where did I put? Oh, they, I think they'd be outside. Yeah, I think they'd be outside.
Hmm. Hopefully she'll get here soon. This is a beautiful place. Very touching. And it has everything. You have a, a horse pen. Your own chopping wood. Smelter. Iron. Sharpening wood. Uh, sharpening. Making. Yeah. Let me see. Let me check in here. Uh, no, that's not it. Are you in? Is it in here? Where is that? There was new gear that I, I was finding. Oh, that's one of them right here. I never seen that before. It looks like something off of uh, Fallout. Um, I must have left them in White Run. Well, anyways, I can go ahead and uh, add more to it. Oh, oh. Yeah, see, this is the weapon I got from the lady that owned this place. So, yeah, that's going to be kind of a little bit interesting. Go ahead and put these in here. Marked for selling. Okay, don't get rid of that because I will need that. Um, I think I got some pellets. Right there. Yeah. I like to organize. Just who I am. But yeah, anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and wait one hour. See if she showed. Are you home, sweetie? Huh? Are you in here? Oh god, please. Hopefully you are because this is a beautiful place. I mean, oh, this is very Nordic. <laughs> ah, toasty. <laughs> you are! Yay! Oh, 6 a.m.? Ah, what a fun time we had. How the hell are you going to get out of there? I think the beds are a little bit too close. Kind of need to move this. And move the bed just a little bit over. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's my love come to visit. Yes, I got you out of that hell hole. But it feels good. Let me give you... Is um, there anything you need, dearest? Here. Is there anything you need, dearest? Here's a drink. Here's a drink. There you go. Here, this is from a recipe my people have passed on to me. I can cook another tomorrow. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. The gold is flowing nicely. Here's your half of the profits, my dear. Oh, you could have kept it for yourself. I'm... okay. Uh, let's try that again. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see what you have. Oh, here we go. Look. Look at that. This is new. I remember that just being... Fire arrows, not the design. See, these were the dwarf arrows if you have the crossbow. Um, what else? Okay, it doesn't look like you're selling anything. Oh, books. <gasps> A spell. I'll buy that from you. Mm. And you think, ooh, charcoal. Ooh, gems. Ooh, god damn. I'll take a lockpick. Let's see, I think I have... Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, wait. I don't know if I might need Is that for anything. anything you need, dearest? No. I am just happy and enjoying myself that I was able to marry an Argonian for once. Because I remember back then, the, uh, see, if I remember right, it's been so many years. 
like very long time since uh since skyrim was launched for the ps3 yeah that was a long time ago you could only marry the males only you couldn't marry any of the female khajiits or argonians um very little of dark elves which is there was the one that i did marry that was in white run you paid her 500 gold i believe she was awesome i liked her a lot it was the only thing i could marry because it was the only thing i was interested in actually i was interested in the other three or say all three of them wasn't really interested in the other ones very well other than well maybe four the vampire lady of course you couldn't the only way you could marry her is if you cured her from her vampiric uh curse it was the only way you couldn't marry her for who she was and the one thing is when she turned human when you married her she didn't look very attractive uh ada a ada i think that's her name a awa uh the werewolf girl werewolf lady i can't remember her name i was literally doing a mission with her not too long ago and i can't remember oh well um i think i married her the last time but it was all right but i've always wanted oops uh, give me that back. I didn't mean to put potion in there. Oh shit, where'd I... Uh. Oh, oh, right there. Right there. Get it back. That's food. And food goes in here, not potions. But, um, anyways, um, I, I've always was into, like, Khajiits and Argonians because I just look cool in my opinion. But you can never marry them. And let, the only way you can marry them is that you can only marry the males. There was one up in... Let me see. Uh, world. Uh, now, I don't know what's changed. You went over here, and somewhere around here, I think, was a male Argonian. And I think... Somewheres, eh. um, I mean, he, he kind of travels everywhere. So the the only time I've actually found him a couple of times in White Run, he'd be like camped outside of this area of the other Khajiits, and he'd be like the uh, bodyguard sometimes. Well, actually, all the time. But it it was like sometimes he would be like traveling with a pack, and he was uh, a male Khajiit. That you could marry but that's all you could and it was very limited it was mostly just humans a little bit of dark elves one i think all right where is that i don't think it was there where's the place oh here it is i think one right here uh there was only one high elf they don't look very attractive to me but yeah could be the graphics because they're a little bit you know <laughs> on eso the graphics look a little bit better on them i mean for an uh, an example what i mean by graphics is, is... There anything you need dearest no not yet if i was to do this uh it looks okay i, I do like that they put a little bit more texture into the coloring and stuff but the tail man come on what the hell what the hell am i looking at the tail is so freaking ugly. It is so, like, um, skinny as hell. And it doesn't even, it barely even moves. Look at that. On ESO, if you're playing Argonian and you look at your tail, you can notice the difference. Yeah. I wish they would fix that. I mean, look at that. I'm, yeah, the armor kind of makes me a little bit busty looking, but... <laughs> Kind of, I'm, I'm glad they kind of fixed that because Bethesda games are not really good on or keen on that. They always make them flat chest or made everyone gay. Nothing wrong with that. It's just it gets annoying. That's what it is in every goddamn game of Bethesda. It's like, if you want, if you're going to have marriage, you got to make them look attractive, not just put them there. There you go. That's pretty. 
Yeah, my ass. <sighs> but, yeah, anyways, enough ranting on that. Um, what was I gonna do? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, I still need to unload. See, I don't think I got any scrolls. Um, but I do got some gems. You know they don't weigh a whole lot, but yeah, yeah. When you have a when you have a lot, they start to actually build up. Let's see, I got this that goes outside. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, let's go ahead and sit here. Now I found these on my journey, and I like I got excited because I remember you couldn't get you, you probably could, but I've never found them during my travels in Skyrim on the PS3 years ago. Years ago. Um, but I found it in this <laughs> version of the uh, Skyrim. And I was like, what? They have them in the game now? Oh, take that. Look at that. Yeah. Lust the Lusty Argonian made Volume 1 and Volume 2. Now that's actually quite exciting. Let's read it. Oh, that's the end. Now you guys go ahead and pause it if you want. <gasps> Is there a third one? Thanks for how many there is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Those ones are special. But I do have another special book, but I can't remember to play it. Um, oh, it's in White Run. That's right. I gotta go grab. I gotta grab oh, all my, my shit from White Run. Come to visit. Yes. Now I wonder if we can have Argonian children. I mean, I don't think we can since me and her are both females. But there is a mod where you can find Argonian and Khajiit. No, I think it's just Argonian children, but they all look as uh, a bit disturbing. Like uh, miniature sized humans <laughs> turn into Argonians. It's a bit, uh, yeah. Okay, so where should I put said stones? Hmm, I never actually made that. Actually, I could just put it in the same place. I don't think it really matters. There we go. Oh, I'll put that in there too. I don't know if it's really useful or not. Oh, potions. Where did I put those at? Now I do eventually want to go to the one house where you get to build said house, and um, or that down here. You go here and talk to the Yarl, and I think he gives you the uh, deeds to the house. I think it's like around here somewhere or over here, close by to this place. But yeah. There's a lot in here that is gonna feel very new. I need to uh, kind of like re-grab everything because this sword's nice, but you all know the one I am most indeedly after, but I can't get it until I get the orb first. Because I think if you talk to the lady and then get the orb, I don't think she'll give you the weapon. Unless they fix that. I think they fixed a lot of bugs because I noticed some things in this game were just not bugging out or something like that. Oh, that's right. Like my potions went into here. Yep. There we go. Just to make my weight a little bit. Let me put that back on. A little bit slider from being over encumbered. I mean, how much can I hold? 400. That's because I'm wearing a pair of boots on me. 
No, I don't want to take that. I don't think... Yeah, I don't have any scrolls. Letters? I do have... But I don't really need them. Yeah, these are from new missions that I've never seen before. Okay. I'll put these in here for now and deal with them later. There we go. Cause right now, wait, I'll on the venture. Cause I'm actually enjoying this game. Lots of new stuff, or just a little bit more balanced, I guess you could say. But yeah, 